Hong Kui Cho. President, please be seated. Hong Tung Liem. The court is back in session and the floor is given to the defense team for Mr. Kilson Pond, said uh, President. Rather, to uh, defense team for Mr. Nguyen Chia first. You may not proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. Good afternoon, Your Honours, Council. Good afternoon again, um, Madam Civil Party. Um, I have a few more questions to ask to you. Um, before the lunch break, um, we spoke a bit about uh, the sleeping quarter on the premises of the Tapang Pagoda um, and that the women of your uh, unit uh, were sleeping there at the time. Was this also the case for the 30 men. Um, in other words, did all of the people from your village slept, sleep at the premises of the Tropean Pagoda? And the distance from between the distance from one hall to another was about 30 meters. There was a separate hall for female and male workers. And the hall for female workers was situated on the right side of the, the temple in the pagoda. And for the female workers, uh, for the male workers, they slept in a hall at the left-hand side of the temple. Um, and after having slept in, in the night, did all Question. 80 people, men and women, dormi, then leave the premises of the Tapeyang Pagoda la pagode uh, de Tapeyang and from there walk to pour se à pied uh, your workplace at the 1st January Dam worksite. Is that correct? La construction du barrage du 1er janvier. Est-ce exact? Witness, I could not get your question. Could you ask me again? Excusez-moi, je n'ai pas bien compris votre um, question. Pourriez-vous répéter, s'il vous plaît? Men and coupé. women from je your village, si les after they had woken up, after their sleep, did you all go together, the 80 je of you, si from the pagoda to the work site at the dam? Answer. The, wish, the whistle was blown at 4 a.m. for us to Le get dressed and à get ready. Nous nous and another whistle was blown for Et the second ensuite, time to signal no, to everyone to leave for work site. While we were walking, some of the workers nodded off. Some uh, fell down. Certains ouvriers tombaient en marchant. And uh, the unit chief would warn those workers who fell down Les or who nodded off, and everyone was following, following one after another. I myself fell down on the ground at one time un because uh, I was sleepy. Parce que trop on some occasion, uh, other workers would, on one occasion, other, some workers fell down to the ground and on another occasion, some other would fall down on the ground because it was 4 a.m. in the morning and everyone was so sleepy. We had to go to work even uh, during that period. It was the time that we could have a good sleep. C'était le moment où nous aurions tous pu bien dormir. Mais um, il fallait nous rendre au travail. Earlier today and this morning, you said Question. 
that you estimated the distance between uh, the Trapiang Pagoda and the work site uh, at the dam around three kilometers. Um, can you tell the trial chamber um, why you estimated the distance three kilometers? Cette distance faisait, à votre avis, trois kilometers. Answer. Réponse. It was my rough estimates since donné cette I uh, used to be educated in school and my rough estimate perhaps uh, sometimes is not uh, uh, real really correct but I believe that it was about that distance. Je pense que la distance à parcourir était d'environ 3 km. Um, and after um, the whole group of 80 people um, had arrived after walking at, at the, the work place, site. Um, did you chantier, then start working at the same time as all the other workers from all the other villages au même que at les the dam? Que les Answer. That is true. When we oui, reached our workplace, we started Lorsque working. There were all there were earth carrier baskets, so everyone was on work. No one was uh, standing idle. Personne ne restait les bras croisés. We knew our own assignment to uh, do. Some who were assigned to dig the earth, they would dig it anyway. And some people were so tired and they would hide the baskets somewhere so that they could take a little bit rest. We were so tired, so we pretended that our nous baskets uh, got lost, but we, have, we had to be careful so that no panier, one stole our baskets. Pour que ne nous vole ce and if we were strong enough, uh, we would bring our tools or si material back to fort, the pagoda and put it at the right pagode. places. So it took us very long to travel from our workplace back to the pagoda. We would reach uh, the pagoda at 10 p.m. and we were so tired after we reached uh, the pagoda, we would take bath and went to sleep. Actually, we could not go to sleep anyway. We had to prepare our own set up clothes for nous tomorrow ne pas work. Immédiatement. Il nous fallait préparer notre tenue pour le lendemain. So as I said, the first visual visual was uh, blown so that Comme everyone dit, uh, woke up and for the second whistle blowing we had to uh, travel and go to work. Um, um, Madam Witness, I have a uh, civil, Madam Civil Party, I have a few questions. Question. So if Madame you could be a little shorter in your answer, I would, I would very much appreciate that. Um, I'm, I'm still at the morning um, with in, re in relation to your work. When you arrived, the 80 people or so from your group at, at the dam site, Je vous did you then matin. at the same time, vous le matin, you started working at the same time as all other groups? Que vous um, à au même so que when les you heard a bell um, at the work site, you then joined the forces of all the other villages. Is that correct? Sonnait, et est-ce que c'est à ce moment-là que vous commenciez à travailler avec les autres groupes ou au même moment? Answer. No Réponse. one was late. Personne n'était en retard. 
my group stays a bit far away from the work site, so we have to be hurry and went to work. And some workers, they leave and stay close to the work site, so they perhaps could start work earlier than us. My uh, unit and group chief uh, was uh, very careful de mon unité, de mon uh, to advise us to go to work uh, on time because we stay far away from the work site compared to others. Plus du que well, would it be fair to say, um, again, that the moment that you actually started working at the dam was around the same time as all Vous other workers from other chantier, villages started working. Is that correct? Les autres villageois, que les autres ouvriers. Hunter, as I stated Réponse. earlier, sometimes we dit, would arrive earlier than other workers did. Normally, as for us, Parfois, we live in autres, a far place from the work site, so we would arrive Mais at the work site earlier a, than others. Plus loin, après les um, Madam Civil Party, there, before you, um, three other witnesses have testified as to Question. working conditions le témoin, and working times, etc., at the dam site. Um, and one of the witnesses has given testimony that um, everybody started working at the dam site at around the same time, um, at around 7 o'clock in the morning. Um, is that a correct statement from this witness? Ce témoin a-t-il dit quelque chose d'exact? De, Answer, no, it's not correct. Réponse, non, c'est inexact. As I said, I stayed Comme je dit, in a far place from the work site. So du chantier. my group would arrive earlier than other others. And uh, if uh, they started work at uh, 7 a.m., that's uh, the uh, day was al already uh, broke. So as I stated, uh, we started uh, our work earlier than the time si nous mentioned. À 7 du matin, la but I understood this morning, and maybe I'm wrong, that um, the work from your group was done in a segment next to groups from other villages that you were in fact working groupes. on a part of the dam, a part of the, of the ground that was adjacent to groups Vous of other villages. Or did I not get that right? De celui que mal compris. Answer, uh, yes, our segment Réponse. that we uh, were working on were close to each other. Sur we we have the se segment of uh, land to work on for Chalau, for Tmei, for Barai. I uh, do not recall them all. Il y avait pour Tmei, Barai, mais we je from Barai Sankat had to wake up all together and so go to work. De Bahai se tous et no. ma ma Madam, Madam Civil Party, may, I apologize to interrupt you, but maybe it would be more helpful if I read to you civile, an excerpt from this particular uh, witness statement and then ask you if, you, uh, if it's correct, yes or no. Mr. President, that is E3 slash 403, WRI of uh, Mr. Soka, um, Soka. Um, ERN English 0040030306, Khmer ERN 0038952425, and French 0042224040. Um, so, Madam Witness, um, the question to this witness is as follows, and I read, how did they define the working hours? How did they divide the work? And this particular witness answers as follows. From 7 a.m. to 11 a.m. in the afternoon, 
from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. Entre 14 heures et 17 heures. During the working hours, they were allowed Pendant to have a 50-minute break. L'on nous accordait des pauses de 15 minutes. At night, the work minutes. started from 6:30 p.m. to 6 to 2:10 p.m. The dam construction was divided into sectors, districts, groups, and individuals. Each person, had to, each person dug two cubic meters a day and Chaque carried to build the dikes. If one finished jour, digging and carrying early, he could take digues. a rest. Les gens qui avaient fini plus tôt pouvaient se reposer. Is this testimony accurate? Is this how it was in your uh, group of 80 people as well? Est-ce la même chose pour votre groupe de 80 personnes? Answer. I would like to know where this individual was living in which uh, Sankat or commune commune was he or she living. It was not the same, as situa the same situation as where I was living. I started work at 5 a.m. and then I had to work until 11 a.m. After that time, we had breakfast and we had to resume our work in the afternoon until Ensuite, 5 p.m. and we had a night shift as Et well to work. Il y avait um, but do you, is it, is it at least correct in, in, in your memory that you had a three hours tenue. break between um, 11 and 2? Il était donc une pause de 3 heures entre 11 heures et 14 heures. Cette pause vous permettait de déjeuner. Est-ce exact? For my place, we had to resume work at 1 p.m., not 2 p.m. Pour ce qui nous concerne, nous devions reprendre le travail à 13 heures, pas à 14 heures. So, where you were working, where you were working, you had a two-hour lunch break, is that correct? Vous aviez donc une pause de une pause déjeuner de deux heures. Est-ce exact? Answer. Yes. Réponse. Oui. Um, and is it correct that in the morning? Question. People within the group of 80 were assigned to carry with them uh, food, such as rice, vegetables, uh, fish, etc. Was that taken in the morning from the pagoda to the work site? Answer. For food... Uh, the cook was responsible for our food, le qui and était the food de was la ready at 10 a.m. in the morning, and it was uh, carried uh, to our place by someone. Elle était transportée par quelqu'un jusqu'au chantier. The food was required uh, to be at uh, our work site. 15 or 10 minutes before the break time, no one could bring along their own food supplies. So the lunch that you were eating at around 11, Question. Le repas um, que vous preniez was, the heures, was the food that had been taken earlier in the morning from the pagoda to the work site, is that correct? Depuis la pagode jusqu'au site de travail, est-ce exact? Answer, yes. That is correct. We had to have Réponse. our meal at our exact. work site. Nous devions prendre nos On repas sur le chantier. On some occasions, uh, we did not have our field. Parfois, nous ne mangeons what, pas à notre what was it, um, Anne, Question. that you spoke about earlier this morning, Vous avez parlé de Anne that she was also in charge of making sure Anne that all 80 people from your village in your uh, unit had enough to eat. Responsable de ce que mangeaient les ouvriers de son groupe, devait-elle veiller à ce que tout le monde ait mangé à sa faim au sein de son groupe? Uh, 
and answer uh, the Peoples. respective uh, village was responsible for its own food for Chaque village devait s'occuper de sa nourriture the village of wood supply food to its own les villages uh, worker. qui devaient fournir la and nourriture nécessaire aux ouvriers workers at the uh, work site ran out of food lorsque nous n'avions plus de nourriture sur le chantier send information to the village nous devions en informer le village and every 10 days uh, there would be pork and meat uh, to eat il y avait because du porc, we did not bœuf, have uh, such you know viande. delicious meal every day some of them fell sick Mais and got dysentery on the, the day that jours, we had special meal jour, we were accused and we were reprimanded because uh, we were provided with a uh, good food to eat and we had dysentery and illness pas dû tomber malade, so, on en some occasion, uh, people bien. got dysentery because of uh, the meal that we had. The medics would come to our place and give us the uh, rabbit drop medicine. So we used that medicine for the treatment, even it was not. Uh, Nous prenions ces médicaments responding to the illness. Um, in the morning, when you were working uh, and starting, sometimes Question. at the same time as all the other workers, um, did you have a 15-minute break after one hour and a half, um, two hours? Answer. There was a break time at 9 or 9.30. Une pause vers a 9 heures short ou 9 break. Une courte pause. So, when we heard the uh, whistle blown, we would sit Lorsque nous entendions le on the place siffler, where we were working. We could not uh, walk to anywhere to take the rest. Some of us uh, would sit and nous nous lay against each other. Pour nous reposer. And some would nous uh, uh, even sn autres. snoring. Certains ronflaient. Um, this break of 15 minutes that you said Question. Uh, that you just talked about Vous venez de pause did that 15, 15 minutes. minute break fall precisely in the middle que cette of pause de 15 the morning session of work précisément in other words de did that 15 minute break break the morning session into two exactly halfway la matinée en deux parties bien égales ou pas Yeah, Answer, yes, that is correct. Oui, c'est exact. Um, you said just now that Question. it is your estimate vous avez that dit à the pagoda was around three kilometers situated from the place that you were working. Um, you if you are, no. Is it fair to say that the group took about um, 45 minutes, if they were slow, around an hour, to, work, to walk from the pagoda to the work site? Answer. I Réponse. could not tell you how long it takes. Je ne puis vous dire combien de temps cela prenait. But for the distance, I could give you the rough estimate. Once Je again, I could not give you uh, the description of how long it took from the place where I lived to the work site. Cela prenait pour se rendre de la pagode au chantier. If we 
follow the witness whose testimony I just presented to you. And if we follow testimony from the other two witnesses, working time started at 7. Is it then correct when I say that you left the pagoda uh, in the morning at around 6, 615? So I think I don't like President, le please hold on. Attendre, Madame witness, le témoin. the president, you may now proceed. Uh, Co-prosecutor. Co Thank you, Mr. President. I, if counsel Merci, wishes Monsieur to président. use other witnesses' testimony, si I, I think he should make the, cite the references. Um, my understanding and recollection is that from the three prior witnesses, we had two people who were supervisors perpetrators, if you will, who gave a later start time and a witness uh, who was a worker like uh, this person who gave a, a time estimate that was consistent with hers. So I think to avoid this, uh, counsel needs to cite the references rather than characterize the evidence. I, I think that is a... Um, a poorly formulated objection calling uh, the first two witnesses perpetrators. Um, um, I have no idea on which grounds the prosecution, prosecution is calling these two witnesses perpetrators. Um, however, having said that, I, it's my recollection that uh, the, the witness number three um, confirmed in greater lines the working hours. Um, Anyway, I just, um, having said that, I just um, referred to the statement of this one witness, and I'm now Quand trying moi, to find out whether uh, maybe the witness is wrong in time, and whether in si fact her group left the pagoda at around six. Si and if she says no, it's not, si that's not the case, then she can say that. Si so I think I'm allowed to ask this question. Je pense que je peux poser cette question. Counsel, if I understood the prosecution correctly, the problem is not so much the question but the reference. What we have done is um, uh, accepting references to prior statements as long as everybody obviously agreed, yes, that's what was said. As soon as somebody gets up and says that's not what I remember, obviously you have to give us the reference. I think that's the only issue here. I, I think I just quoted um, from the WRI from uh, Soka who says that working hours were from 7 a.m. to 11 a.m. in the morning. And then calculating around 45 minutes maximum an hour um, walking, then I can put it to the civil party that in fact uh, she didn't wake up um, at 3 and left at 4, but rather woke up at 5 and left at 6. The problem is not the question, just give us the reference. Uh, e3 slash uh, 403. Um, English ERN 0040 Command 0038 and uh, French 0042 The exact same numbers as I just uh, gave. Um, uh, If, if counsel wants to just put the statement of this one witness, that's fine. I think he's already done that. He's already asked her a number of times about the hours given by Pet Soka, who was a senior cadre supervisor at the site. Um, but then he just attempted to represent to the witness that all three people agreed with this. That's not my recollection of Mias Laihau's testimony. So if he wants to use all three and make representations, he needs to have to cite, otherwise he shouldn't be trying to mislead or lead the witness. I can, I can waste my time and now read uh, our house testimony. Um, I think he confirmed um, Soka. But let me rephrase and end this discussion, Mr. President, if you allow me. Um, 
Madame Civil Party, when you left in the morning, did you have, or at the time, did you have a watch? Were you able to look at the clock at what time it was when you left? Answer, yes, I had. Base people had the time to watch. The first visual blowing was at 3 a.m. or perhaps 4 a.m. Sometimes we overslept. So when the, the, the one who was in charge of blowing the whistle overslept, and then the, we could have, uh, you know, a little bit more time to sleep. Et donc nous pouvions en profiter et dormir plus que d'habitude. And for the one who told you that the uh, work started at uh, 7 a.m. in the morning, this individual may be a former uh, unit chief or a cadre during that time. He could go back, uh, he could go to work a little bit late uh, compared to others. You see, Mr. Prosecutor, what happens to these suggestions? Um, Madam Witness, you just said that the work in the morning ended at 11 and that the morning break was exactly in the middle uh, of the morning session. Now, isn't it true that you started working at 7 with this, in, with this calculation in mind? Answer. Yes, there was a 15-minute break. But work never started at 7 a.m. It started at 6 a.m. For my group, we had to start work at before 7 a.m. We never started work at 7 a.m am as I stated earlier and at around 9 or 9.30 we had a 15 minute break after the break we had to resume work until 11 am in the afternoon we started our work at 1 and we had another short break be around 3 o'clock, we resume work after the break in the afternoon until 5 p.m. in the evening. And we work at night as well. We work from 6 p.m. until 10 p.m. And after work, we went back to the place at Ropeang Chirei, where we slept. Thank you, Madam Witness. I think I heard what I wanted to hear. Um, I would like um, to move on to um, the lunch preparation. Were you also at, in turns, uh, in various turns, um, involved in preparing uh, the food for the lunch break? There was one time when the cook had to return home as uh, the children were sick. And that day I was unwell and I was uh, allowed to rest. And that was the day that I replaced uh, the cook. Um, the other time that you were unwell, um, that you had a terrible abdominal pain, uh, and that you requested um, um, to rest and not to work, did you request that to her in the morning before you went to the work site, or was it that you requested this her to her during your time at the work site? Actually, my menstrual cycle started during the night, and then I had to, to go to work in the morning. 
And while I was carrying Earth, and maybe it's because of the overworked, my period stopped, and that caused me abdominal pain. Mes menstruations se sont arrêtées, ce qui m'a causé des and my body was trembling, my Le limbs were trembling, and I could no longer carry earth. Et je ne pouvais plus transporter de terre. I go home. And I couldn't eat my meal. Et je n'ai pas pu prendre mon repas. At the time, I rushed about to ask the request, but upon seeing my condition. Lorsque the unit chief le chef a vu instructed mon état, another worker to, à un to take me back to the sleeping quarter. De me ramener and she noticed that uh, my face was pale with pain. Elle and she asked me why. Pâle de douleur. Elle demandé and I pourquoi. told her that uh, it's because of my menstrual cycle and it stopped. Cycle qui and that arrêté. I was uh, trembled with Je pain. De so that was the time that I was allowed to rest for the afternoon session. And when you made that request to Ann, um, did Anne immediately uh, agree and said it's no problem, Anne you can uh, go back to the sleeping quarters and rest? Initially, she was uh, rather hesitated, but upon seeing the, the trembling condition that I was in, she decided to allow me to rest. Elle a décidé de me permettre de me reposer. And in fact, it was another work colleague who told me that my en fait, face was so pale. M'a dit que j'étais vraiment pâle. Although I myself felt the tremble Moi-même, je ressentais les throughout my body. Dans tout mon corps. Um, this morning, uh, Madam Civil Party, you spoke about um, one old man in your group of um, 80 villagers, um, an old man who you said um, had died. Do you remember exactly what happened with this old man? Did, did he get sick at one point and did he request um, then to have medical care? And did he then maybe um, go somewhere else? What exactly can you tell us about what happened to this old man? He was not an old man. He was unmarried and he was about 20 to 21 years old. And he was also a basic person. And he took care of uh, his work and he always focused on his work. And he overworked until he fell sick. And he didn't have a chance uh, for any hospital hospitalization. In fact, he rested uh, at home for a fortnight and he died. His mother, Ri, had two sons and he was the second son. So he was staying 14 days um, in your village before he passed away, is that correct? He lived in the same village and his house was about six doors away from mine. Um, but before he passed away, he was um, lying six, sick sorry, for about 14 days. Is that my understanding?
Yes, uh, that was about uh, right, and his condition uh, became worse each day he stayed there. And there was no proper medical treatment, there were only rubber pellet drops and uh, the liquid from an orange juice like a bottle. And how do you know that his uh, unfortunate death had anything to do with the work uh, at the dam site? How do you know who told you this? du barrage qui vous l'a dit In fact he became sick at the work site À vrai dire, il est tombé malade sur le and site de he, his condition became deteriorated due to lack of proper medicine he overworked at a work site as he had to break rock and carry uh, the rock uh, segments. I'm, I'm trying to, to establish, Madame Civil Party, whether this is uh, your conclusion uh, or whether it is something that somebody told you because he or she knew. I hope you can understand the difference. But did anybody tell you what the reason was for the unfortunate death of this um, young man? Nobody told me. I saw it with my own eyes. And as I said, he lived about only six doors from my house in the village. You saw him. You saw him in, uh, on your day off. Uh, on, on the tenth day that you went to the village, is that what you're saying? When the work site was closed, that is in June, Lorsque I returned to the village, fermé, and that's George, when he died. And do you remember how long, Question. how many days had passed since the finishing of the work and you seeing the man in, in his house? Do you remember how many days had passed since the finishing of the work and you seeing the man in his house? Do you remember how many days had I have already told you that it was about a fortnight after I returned from the, the, the work site. So is it, should I then understand that he fell sick, this young man, on the very last day of the work of your village at the work site? De travail sur le site de travail. Yes. In fact, he was ill, but he still continued to working at the work site, and it continued became worse. And when the work site uh, closed, he returned home, and about a fortnight later, he died. Thank you, Madam Civil Party. Um, now I would like to ask you some questions about um, children from your village um, who you said also um, worked at the work site. Do you remember the names of these children?
I do. Oui. There were Caron. Il y avait Caron. And Caron, the younger Caron, sibling. Le plus jeune. They were both siblings. And there was another one, Tot, who was skinny and tall. Qui était maigre et grand. As for the rest, I cannot uh, reste, call their names. Je ne me souviens pas de leur nom. Were these children accompanying their parents, who also worked at the dam? Qui travaillait également sur le site du barrage. No. Réponse: No. They were assigned to be in the second Alors mobile unit to work at de la unité the dam work site and some children hid their parents stay in the village. And was one of their jobs Question. to collect cow dung? Leur travail consistait-il également à récolter des bousses de vache? No. They were carrying earth like we did. Comme tout le monde. And how is it that you know uh, their age at the time? Question est comment se fait-il que vous connaissiez l'âge qu'ils avaient à l'époque? The children were around uh, nine years old, Les and the oldest were around ans, thirteen years old, or maybe even twelve. Même 12. Who was it that selected these two or three children to work? Was that Ang? Et est Ang qui a sélectionné ces deux ou trois enfants pour les envoyer travailler là-bas. C'était Anne. No, it was not Anne. It was the village chief. C'était le chef de village. But he informed them on. It was the village chief who appointed them. C'était le chef de village qui les avait nommés, désignés. We heard another. One of the th other three witnesses that we uh, heard testifying uh, this week and last week was also a village chief, and he gave testimony to the effect that only people with strength uh, who could work at the dam were selected. Do you remember any discussion at the time as to why these two or three children were selected to work at the dam? I cannot say about what happened in other villages. However, I know that in my village, children were assigned to carry dirt at the dam work site in the second mobile unit. Do you remember the name of your village, Chief? Question. Vous souvenez-vous du nom du chef de village? All was my village chief. All, chef However, he passed away. And all was a tall man. All était de grand. I think he was about 1.8 meter high, or tall, rather. À peu près un mètre 80. Madam Civil Party, do you know if there is anybody? who belonged to the group of 80 people from your village who is still alive today? Are you referring to the old people or the new people? Um, Anybody within the group of 80 people that worked? Question. 
qui que ce soit, parmi les 80 personnes qui travaillent. People from either one group. Qu'elles fassent partie d'un groupe ou de l'autre. There are about only eight or nine new people who survived amongst those 30 to 40 families who were assigned to live in my village. And as I said, there was a family of a woman by the name of Ri with her children. There are six more people in my family, Munsat's family and my family. And the rest all died. Thank you, Madam Civil Party. I would like to take you back now again to um, the work site and the situation of um, sanitation. Um, you were talking about um, many flies, um, flies that also went into the soup. Uh, do you recall that at any point of time when you were working there, people came to spray pesticides vous souvenez -vous si in order to chase those flies away. It's difficult for me to respond to your question uh, without uh, having a laugh. As I said this morning, there was nothing at all in regards to the elimination of flies. This morning I already told you that the soup, although the, the amount was small, it was full of flies and we had to pick them out of the bowl one by one. Everyone experienced the same Et thing. Tout le monde a vécu la même chose. Despite flies in the soup, we had to eat Et nous and drink the soup. En dépit des mouches y avait dans la soupe. In order to survive, si nous voulions survivre. at that point, sanitation was, not, was no longer a consideration. Mm. We had to think. What we could eat in order to survive. And people experienced a lot of uh, dysentery. Sometimes they had to, to, to keep going in line into the forest to relieve themselves. And that's due to lack of sanitation. Uh, Madam Civil Party, um, if you would be so kind just to say yes or no, uh, did they come and spray pesticides um, near the kitchen, near the latrines? Um, near your work site, rather, where you were working, did they or did they not? Yes or no, please. No, it did not happen. Um, you were talking about uh, soup being made and, and, and those flies in the soup. Um, the people in the kitchen, were they cooking the soup? S'occupait-il de préparer la soupe?
the soup, the soup was prepared and cooked actually at the uh, pagoda at Tropeng Chire. And after uh, it was cooked, then two people would carry the soup to the uh, work site for us to eat, and two other people would carry the rice. So it was uh, cooked at our uh, sleeping quarter at Trapeng Chirai Pagoda. Uh, but did the cooks in the kitchen um, make a fire to heat the soup again? La soupe était ensuite réchauffée et est-ce que pour ce faire, les cuisiniers allumaient un feu? No. Réponse, non. Was there no cooking going Question. on at all in the kitchen Alors, um, il avait pas at your work site? De cuisine à proprement parler sur, dans le site de la cuisine, c'est-à-dire que les gens ne s'occupait pas de faire la cuisine dans la cuisine sur votre site de travail. Je vous ai déjà dit que non. Once it's cooked at uh, the pagoda, it was carried to the work site, and it was not uh, warmed up again at the work site. Et pas we du tout would just sur le site de travail. Nous mangions it. simply eat it. Ce qui avait été préparé, c'est tout. Um, now another question, uh, Madam Civil Party. Um, you said earlier this morning that um, if he or she wanted, a base person could refuse uh, to work at the dam. Uh, can you give an example of such instance in which a base person refused to work at the dam work site? Yes. Réponse. It happened uh, in front of me. Oui, Comme was asked by the person whether they come uh, go to the first January Dam work site and Comme said no, I didn't want to go because uh, I heard that a lot of people contracted to malaria there. Then the village chief looked at me and another woman and asked whether we were willing to go to the work site and of course I didn't dare to refuse and I said yes. And this, this person who said, uh, no, Question. I don't want to go because there's malaria, he stayed in the village? Et cette personne qui a répondu non parce qu'il y a le paludisme, est-elle restée dans le village? No. Still, later on, that person was sent to the work site. a quand même été envoyée sur le site de travail. So also this base person ended up working um, together with the other base persons um, at the work site. Is that correct? Yes. Um, and am I right when I say that um, all 80 people from your village once at the work site all did the same work? sur le chantier et il faisait le même travail. Yes, we all did the same work. Réponse, oui, nous faisions tous le même travail. So at the work site, there was no Question. difference in treatment sur le chantier, il between avait donc pas de base people de traitement entre le peuple de base and new people. Is that correct? Et c'est exact. It was that uh, all people uh, dared to sometimes challenge La seule chose, the instructions que le because they were all old people, but new people didn't dare to do that. They would just 
go to wherever they were pointed to. Le peuple nouveau allait là où on lui demandait d'aller. And they had to just to bear with the situation in order to survive and not to be taken away and killed. But in terms of Question. Uh, work and in terms of Mais quota, travail, quota, all 80 atteindre, people in your group were treated exactly the same. Is that correct? Exact? Answer, Réponse. yes, we oui. were treated, we had the same treatment, Nous de la même and façon. new people has to work, for base people, they could le evade work sometimes. Mais le peuple de base, parfois, pouvait y échapper. I, I understand that, but again, in terms of uh, quota, in terms of working times, in terms of type of work, all 80 people in your group uh, did the same thing. Is that correct? Answer, yes, that is correct. Réponse, oui, c'est exact. Maybe I, I, I didn't get your testimony earlier um, Je pas well, très but bien ce que, compris ce did que I hear you say that mais ai bien the division of new and old people within the group of 80 was about half-half? Half? Did I understand that or did I not understand that well? Answer. There was no Réponse. division. The portion of land Il avait pas de was given to our group to work. For example, one group may, re may receive uh, 50 mister to work on, and some other villages would receive uh, 100 mister to de 50 work on. Mètres était confié à and uh, one cubic meter was sometimes given to a group of uh, one man and two uh, women to work on. I apologize, maybe my question wasn't very clear. Um, my question was, did I understand it correctly that the group of 80 people were one half old people and one half new people? 40 venaient du peuple nouveau et 40 venaient du peuple de base. Kang. Answer. Réponse. For my unit, new people had a fewer number. Au sein de mon unité, il y avait moins de membres uh, du peuple nouveau. Base people. Il n'y avait moins que de membres du peuple Thank de base. Merci, Madame Parti. Um, Mr. President, I think I'm through uh, almost all of my questions. Merci, Maybe Madame la Parti Civile. Je pense qu'on a quasiment terminé. Uh, would it be a good moment to break so that I can round up my questions? Peut-être qu'il faudrait faire une pause avant que je ne poursuive. President, you Le can président. continue your line of questioning because it's now it's not the time for break yet. Il pas de faire la um, okay, I will. Um, Être copé. Très bien. Yes, um, Madam Civil Party, did you ever hear through the loudspeakers at the dam work site? Sur le chantier uh, de construction du barrage du 1er janvier, avez-vous entendu dire par haut parleur que l'on appelait ce chantier un champ de bataille chaud Nael. Answer, yes, I heard Réponse. of it. I heard it over the loudspeakers. The announcement was made every day, and it was depicted in uh, the revolutionary songs 
Là, on y entendait and des chansons révolutionnaires story. et des récits so révolutionnaires. We was told over the was to Ce que l'on nous disait par haut-parleur, c'était de travailler activement. And did the people who Question. spoke um, over the loudspeakers explain Les gens qui to the workers why the first January dam site was a hot battlefield? Hot battlefield. Chantier de construction du barrage du 1er janvier était considéré comme un champ de bataille chaud. Answer. That Réponse. site was a hot battlefield uh, because of when the work was very active parce que les ouvriers étaient très at that place, uh, some people were taken away. That is why the air, that dam site was uh, named hot battlefield. Certains ont été emmenés, c'est pourquoi l'on a appelé ce site. Have you yourself also at one point in time worked Question. at the so-called 6 January dam? Avez-vous à un moment donné travaillé sur le chantier du barrage du 6 janvier? Answer Answer no. Réponse non. Um, do you know or remember whether uh, before you and the other members from your village started working at the dam, there had been a drought in Cambodia, and because of the drought there was food shortage. Had you heard of that before? En avez-vous entendu Answer. parler it appeared not. I have Réponse. Never heard of it. Non, il ne me semblait pas que je ne pas parler. Time, there was plenty of water, Sous no trout in that period. Il y avait period. beaucoup d'eau, il n'y avait pas du tout de sécheresse. When it came to June or July, there was a rain and we had water to do the farming. I do not know about other locations and areas. As for Barai district, there was plenty of water. Do you know whether before you started working at the dam site, you had heard there was food shortage uh, because of the war that had preceding uh, the liberation in April 75? Some, some could you repeat your question? Had you ever please? heard that before you started working at the dam site, um, that there Avant was food shortage in your area because of um, the war that had ended in April 1975? Answer. You mean Réponse. food shortage uh, in Pol Pot time? De Pot sous le régime de Pol Pot? I heard of it. Oui, j'en ai entendu parler. People were saying that a militia man and soldier sacrificed their lives to liberate new people. Pour libérer le peuple nouveau. Food supplied were used to give to those who were in the front line. For this reason, there was a short of food for people in the rear line. Actually, no one wanted to leave their home. I mean, the people en réalité, in ne towns, foyer. they did Je not want to leave their citadins. homes. Ils ne pas leur foyer. Was, was there a food shortage in, in your village? Question. Y a -il where you des live? Dans votre village, là où vous viviez? 
Answer. There was food shortage in my village. We did not have enough food to eat during rainy season. We could only have a gruel with morning glory, and the gruel was sometimes watery. La bouillie était parfois très claire, très aqueuse. From August, September, October and November, most female workers in my village had no menstrual cycle because they did not have enough food to eat. They received only a watery cruel. When there was a good harvest, we would have rice to eat. And as I said, when there was no good harvest, there was no rice, we received only gruel, watery gruel to eat. Everyone was weak, and we were getting weaker and weaker. New people, they had their own plot of land to grow vegetation, and as for new people, we had nothing. My last question, uh, Madam Civil Party, did they question, tell merci, you la civile, the workers at um, the 1st January dam site le du barrage du 1er um, janvier, that the purpose of building this dam aux was to make sure that there would be enough water to, um, for the rice farmers so that there would not be any more shortages because of um, the weather situation. And that, that was the purpose of everybody working together at this dam. Answer. What was the cause of uh, food shortage? After the harvest, uh, rye was transported out. Cook uh, would go to fetch the food ration from Sangkat. Cook uh, went to collect uh, the Husk rice uh, and brought to the place, and after that, he had to unhask uh, the rice for cooking. I saw that uh, rice was transported out of my place. There was a warehouse in a Songkat. I uh, do not know how large or was it, how large it was. In the mornings, there was announcement that uh, one particular le individual matin, would go and collect food, ration or rice. Aller du riz. That is the uh, routine practice. La President. Le President. Madame Civil Party, you seem not to respond Madame to civile, the question put que by uh, Council. Please listen to the question Veuillez carefully and give your right posez, response. Council, please repeat your question Maître, so that you can question, get the right response from façon, Civil Party. Um, I withdraw my question, Mr. President. Thank you. Maître Copé, je retire ma question. Merci. President, thank you. It is now time for a break. The chamber will take a break from now until 3 p.m. Call officer, please find a proper place for this witness and uh, the support staff of TBO during the break time and please invite them back into the courtroom at 3 p.m. The court is now in recess. Suspension of the audience.